We're in Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach. We're going to take you on a walk around to check out all the beautiful Christmas decorations, check out what's new and what's coming soon. Hi, I'm Carmen, and if you're new here and you enjoy Myrtle Beach videos and other travel content, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss anything. We've been wondering what was going to replace Joe's Crab Shack and we finally have an answer. It's going to be a land shark bar and grill. And if you're not familiar with that, there's a land shark that's right next to the Sky Wheel in Myrtle Beach. Let's take a look at how the construction looks so far. I'm not going to go into the construction zone, of course, but just right here to the where they would normally have it gated off. You can hear them actively working. So it looks like they're definitely adding bigger covered outdoor area. And otherwise, it looks like they might be keeping the same basic outline of the building. Here's an actual better view of the new land shark that's coming where the old Joe's Crab Shack used to be. And as you can see over here, they are building a huge outdoor eating area out over the water. That's going to be really, really nice. There's a nice shot all the way across towards Lulu's and the Intracoastal Waterway. Beautiful morning. Now we're to one of our favorite stores here at Barefoot Landing, the Christmas Mouse. And they of course have Christmas decorations up, but they have those up year round. It is an awesome store if you haven't been there. Highly recommend it. It's a couple of floors of all kinds of Christmas. Oh, there's a nicer shot. And you can see their beautiful Christmas tree too, over there right in front of Lulu's. We'll get a closer shot of that in a few minutes. So pretty. Over here at the Christmas mouse on the side, we've got Santa and you've got a little bit of a mantle set up here and a lovely Christmas tree. This is really cute. Another nice thing, if you're not familiar, the Ultimate California Pizza has huge, huge open air seating, which given the current circumstances is a nice thing. And also the uh, blueberries right down here, they have some outdoor seating as well. And that is a very popular breakfast destination. Carousel is looking lovely this morning out over the water. Um, compared to Broadway, Barefoot doesn't have as many rides and they definitely don't have the big thrill rides, but they do have some kid-friendly rides, um, you know, and the whole family could enjoy the, the carousel. I, I still love a carousel, uh, but definitely not as much. Then we're going to get a better view in a minute, but straight ahead is a new brewery that is opening and it was supposed to open this year, but due to construction delays from the crazy year that we've had, the opening got delayed and I just saw that it's going to open in February of 2021. That's the new opening date. I did see something about, I think they've been maybe having some outdoor beer garden stuff going on though, even though they're not officially open. If you know anything about that, let me know. Actually, I think I see it up ahead, so we'll take a look at that. But yeah, they've taken down the big walls. You can tell we're getting much, much closer to opening. So they have their own craft beer as well as I think they may have other craft beers as well, but they definitely have their own that they brew in-house. And so that's gonna be a really nice addition when it opens. And I assume this is new and I assume that's gonna be possibly connected seating out over the water. We'll find out when it opens, but it looks really neat. We got Mr. Turtle down here. Brian just spotted him. He's getting a little sun this morning. So we walk up to check out the Spear Garden area. Look at the beautiful garland that they've got up here. And of course the beautiful Christmas tree. And it looks like they're gonna have even more outdoor seating over here. So now we got some signs and I don't think I mentioned what this is called. It's called the Crooked Hammock. I think I forgot to say that earlier. So it's Crooked Hammock. And here's some concept art. Oh yeah, so that seating definitely is part of them because there's the concept art showing that part that's out over the water. Pretty neat. Beautiful tree. So yeah, here's the beer garden part that I saw something about online. I love the little retro uh, trailer here. So cute. Pretty neat. Let's go in and take a closer look. Oh yeah, Brian's got excited when he saw a crab cake sandwich. Here's their menu for food. Look like they've got four taps, it looks like. Oh, here's the beer, beer to go. Got six packs and cases. And then this outdoor seating area. 
So over here next to the playground, which I think, I don't quote me, but I think I read something on the Crooked Hammocks website that they, I think they're like now sponsoring this playground, I think, but don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. The playground is back open and they do have some hand sanitizer, but Brian just knows they also have this kid-friendly menu and you've got some Capri Sun. That brings back childhood memories for sure. And here's a close up of their beautiful Christmas tree. Brian and I were just saying it's kind of interesting they don't leave the lights on all the time. Pretty sure the one at Broadway has the lights on even during the day. It would look pretty cool across the water even during the day. Here we are over at Lulu's now. This is a restaurant that's owned by Jimmy Buffett's sister and they do have some outdoor seating that's over by the Intracoastal Waterway. We'll go over there in a couple of minutes and check out the Intracoastal Waterway. Here's this awesome view, the garland, looking back across. Wow, that's a big bird right there. Beautiful. Here's the Crooked Hammock stage. Unfortunately, we're looking into the sun, so I don't know how well this will show up, but they've got Santa sleigh, got a couple of Christmas trees and some garland. I assume since they've decked it out that they are having some live performance, but I don't know that for sure. If you know, leave us a comment below. Lulu's also has an arcade and also a ropes course. I'm gonna head over now to check out the Intracoastal Waterway. It is really beautiful and if you are lucky enough to own a boat, they do have free parking, free boat parking here at Barefoot Landing. So you can bring your boat up and park it and uh, you know, have a free spot. It's, you know, I'm sure it's first come first serve, but they seem to have plenty of parking. That's what these little docks are right here. Like there's quite a lot of them. Oh wow, here comes a big boat. Get down the stairs so I can get a closer shot of that. So right there's Lulu's outdoor seating right on the waterway which is awesome. And you have this nice big boat coming down. Pretty neat. If you're not familiar with the Intracoastal Waterway it runs way up and down the east coast of the United States. Um, so people that you see with these boats they could be from anywhere. It's a covers a long, long area. Here's a closer shot of Lulu's outdoor seating. And when they're open and the weather's nice, they also open these big garage door like windows. And so the whole place sort of becomes somewhat open air, which is really neat. And then they also have some more seating over here. If you watch Tiger King, this advertisement right here is for Doc Antle's place. Uh, very controversial. Uh, it lets you guys, if you haven't seen the show, read up on that yourself. Um, definitely a controversial place here though. It's called Myrtle Beach Safari. We have never been. It's not somewhere I would go. And just like Broadway, they also have a Tiki Gems here. It's a really big gift shop and nine o'clock on the dot, they piped in the Christmas music. Get you in that shopping Christmas spirit. I will say, also, compared to, we were just recently at Broadway, so that's why I'm comparing it. Uh, they definitely have less Christmas decorations, and they all seem to be concentrated over there near Lulu's um, in that crooked hammock stage. Uh, there's not much over on this side, as you can see. Like, I'm surprised they don't put garland up here uh, and uh, over on that side. Haven't seen any. There's a pretty bird. Oh, he just dove under. Oh, and there's another turtle. I don't know if he'll show up. Neat. That's one nice, nice thing here. You've got the wildlife because it's sort of a marshy area. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.